What is going on YouTube? This is the Big K Cups 360 here and we've got some fresh news on AMD's upcoming 380X. Now of course guys, um, this is courtesy of LinkedIn. If you look at two of AMD's employees LinkedIn profiles, firstly I found this courtesy of Linus Tech Tips, but of course the original link is from LinkedIn. If you look firstly at Ling Lan Zhang. Now, when I look at the link now, the guy has clearly seen that it's been leaked and you can see that he screwed up. But prior, just yesterday, it literally said on here, on his profile, that um, he was involved in developing uh, AMD's next big 2.5D 300 watt GPU with HBM. Now, look, you're gonna just have to take my word for it. I saw it with my own two eyes, with my own two eyes. Look, maybe he's just put his profile in private now, but I can't see um, his in-depth experience anymore. But I saw it say 300 watts uh, HBM. 2.5D. Now, of course, if you guys don't believe me, if you don't believe I saw the 300 watt thing, I'll link it to the Linus Tech Tips forum, and pe other people will say they saw the 300 watts as well. But it's just not there anymore because clearly he's put his profile on private, and you can't see his experience. However, uh, to further reinforce this, if you look at Lana Schoenstein's LinkedIn profile, she has not changed anything yet. It clearly says, if you look at experience, she's got experience in AMD's APU in the Sony PS4, the 290X GPUs, and the AMD R9 380X, the largest in the King of the Hill line of products. So clearly, AMD's 300 series GPUs will be called no, the king of the hill, or the kings of the hill, and of course, the 380X will be at the top. Now, before we even get into that, that's quite interesting, because wait, 380X is only going to be 980's competitor. The 390X, which should still be a single GPU, is going to be the behemoth that competes with NVIDIA's upcoming beastly 980 Ti or Titan 2 or whatever they come out with next on GM210, I guess they'll call the next massive chip. So hopefully... This is all legit. AMD R9 380X. Hopefully we see that with HBM. Or we will see it with HBM. It's confirmed. We're going to see 380X with HBM. Which is stacked VRAM. So I'm sure you guys know that VRAM by itself. It takes a lot of space. Look, if you look at like the 295X2's PCB. Or even the GTX Titan PCB. Look, fucking. The car is just filled up with VRAM. Like, it, it creates heat issues. And it just. It, it's very hard, it's in terms of engineering I guess, to fit all of that VRAM onto one card. So having stacked memory, like HBM, is the next big thing, and NVIDIA is going to incorporate stacked VRAM soon as well. I believe they're bringing that with Volta, if I remember. But anyway, getting back into it, um, yeah, the 380X should be the competitor with the 980. I'm thinking it's going to perform better or considerably be considerably better than the 980. It's going to have that stacked VRAM. It's going to have a massive memory bus because you do have stacked VRAM. So yeah, pretty much guys, that's pretty much it. Now a lot of people are saying, look, 300 watts, that's a lot of power. Well, look, is this 300 watt TDP or 300 watt power consumption? Because people say, you know, AMD fucking, um, you know, the heaters, GPUs are so hot. Well, with the 290X, the stock cooler itself was pretty shit. And if you look at its, um, its power consumption compared to the 780 Ti, it really isn't that bad. I mean, I think there's quite a bit of, you know, not fanboyism, but misconception as to how much heat or how much power the AMD GPUs really consume because they're not really that much. Some people fucking say it consumes like 100 watts more. Some people say the 290X consumes like more than 100 watts more power than like the 780 Ti when that's just not true. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and comment down below what you think about AMD coming out with the R9 380X 300 watts HBM and let's not forget this thing might not even be the exact flagship card because we've still got a 390X to come. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.